An alleged military assault on some civilians in Damango in the West Gonja municipality of the Savannah region has left one person in critical condition and 17 others, including a military officer with minor injuries. Sources close to join news indicated that the military personnel after the attack went to town in search of the civilian who was in critical condition. Isaac Nunya is following up on this story. He's joining me via Zoom. Hello, Isaac. Isaac, what triggered this assault? You are muted, Isaac. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Yes, what we gather on the ground revealed that the military were on an assignment to weed out some uh, alleged intruders by one of the senior highs there. But before they could get there, they had a hint that a similar thing was going on at uh, one of the girls' schools, senior high in Damago. So they moved there around 5, 5 p.m. and they bumped into these youth who were loading locks. So they seized the locks, added the vehicle, five motorbikes, and their mobile phone running about 18 or 17, and moved everything to the camp. So they detained them in the camp. Later, they were released. I think when the youth came out from the camp, they stationed around the uh, training college. That is being sandwiched by the, the military camp and then the police headquarters. So based on what the comments they were passing there, we are told that an informant of the military gave them a place a call, and within no time, they moved to where the youth were gathered and parked the car on top of the steel ram, jumped down, dragged one of them, and two others joined. Later on, the driver also joined with another military making four. Now, the, the one who is currently in critical condition was says at a Isaac, there looks like the network isn't very uh, favor favorable at this point, but he's spoken to some witnesses. Let's hear them. It was coming from the military camp. After a speed round, the military uh, bus, uh, I mean, quickly stopped. And after it stopped, the military men came down, went and approached the guys. All of a sudden, they came to the fight. And as a result of that, they hit one of those guys who is injured. Currently, that the head needs to be stitched, but it has not been stitched yet. Where were you there when the, the whole thing happened? Yeah, I was there. Okay. So, were the military coming from town in this coastline as alleged, or they were coming from their camp? They were coming from their camp. After the, the before if they fight, they were all dispersed. From there, then the uh, soldiers came from their camp. There were two initially. They came with one car. But when they were going to the out of the industry that they are talking of, it went with what, two vehicles. That's some eyewitnesses speaking to Isaac uh, Nunya. There, Isaac is back. Isaac, you, you were making a point. Uh, uh, wrap it up for us and then give us an update on the critically injured uh, person. Yes, the point I was trying to make is this. When the military finally took on one of the guys, the others realized that they had to rescue him. It was during the rescue that they clashed with the military and one of the officers got injured while they also rescued the, one of their, their own who was also injured and took him back to their home. As we speak now, the driver and the driver of the truck and his mate have gone back to the military camp to try to retrieve their vehicle. But only the two mobile phones were given to them while the five motorbikes and the truck are still intact. I've come across I've come across the the, the, the victim, the one who suffered the brutalities. Mm -hmm. And he told me that he's still undergoing treatment, but not at the any military post, but rather at the pharmacy. Because he's afraid that if he find his way to any hospital or clinic, they may have to catch up with him. Well, Isaac, uh, unless there's any more information we need to share with our audience, uh, that'll be it for me for now. Yes, the current information is that we're told RESEC is bound to meet today. But as we speak, the chiefs in the Samana region have engaged some members of RESEC. Once today is the beginning of the ban on logging and charcoal burning. So we are told after that, RESEC will soon meet and they also meet the military hierarchy before they invite the youth to see how they will resolve this case going forward. 
Isaac, thank you very much. And still up north, Isaac Nonya, by the way, is our Savannah region correspondent. Thank you.